Welcome back to Learn by Rao. Earlier we discussed about automation testing interview questions only and today we are going to discuss about uh, the answers how we can answer all the questions we have already discussed. So if you don't know about whatever the questions we discussed earlier so you can go to the our videos and check it out. So let's understand without wasting our time. Let's start with the beginning. The first one is tell me about yourself as an automation test engineer. Okay, so you can explain sort about you. you. Don't need to explain about your family and how many members are. No, only sort about you. And because as a professional, you need to explain more about your professional experience, right? So second, about your experience, about tools and technologies you work. Fourth, explain about which type of domains you work like telecom, healthcare, e-commerce, fintech, like this. Okay. If you have the other domains and which type of applications you have worked, you can also explain on it. Okay. The last one, which type of project currently working. Okay. So this is also very important point. Don't explain about your personal life and uh, other things because as the automation test engineers, we need to be explained more about your work, professional work, correct? The next question is, what is the role and responsibility of senior automation test engineer? So guys, this is very important, okay? Because some points you can identify yourself where you are. Second one is the creating and executing automated test cases to ensure software quality, identifying, documenting and track software defect using automated testing tools, whatever the testing tools you are using, like Selenium, Eclipse, okay. Participating in requirement analysis and test cases reviews. Next, collaborating with cross-functional teams to understand project requirements and test objects. Next one is integrating automated test into continuous integration deployment like the CI CD tools like the Jenkins. Okay. The next one is implementing and maintaining automation framework to support scalable and efficient testing. Conducting regression testing to ensure the stability of software releases. Analyzing test result and providing comprehensive report to stakeholders. Okay. Troubleshooting test script failure and debugging issues to ensure accurate test result. Keeping up to date with the latest automation testing tool techniques and best practices. Contributing to process improvement and suggesting innovative solution to enhance automation testing effectiveness. Maintaining or sorry, mentoring junior automation test engineer and providing guidance on automation testing methodologies and practices. Okay, so these are the core points you can explain with whatever you are doing. Okay, in short, we can say the role is what to designing the test cases and integrations with uh, CI CD tools and maintain the framework. Okay, these are the core points. I would say okay. The next one is are you working on design framework or have you created a framework yourself as an automation tester? This is most common again than another question they can ask to you. Okay. So let me open. Okay. So as an automation tester you can explain like this i have experience working with both designing framework provided by the organization and creating framework myself so if you have the good experience or you are doing at the scratch level so you can explain that, that way and if you have the already existing framework so you can explain that way okay so if you have the experience is working with design framework already you have Let's suppose you have already designed frameworks in your organization. You can explain utilize design framework provided by the organization for automation testing 
implemented and executed tests within the framework according to project requirements then adhere to established coding standard and guidelines within the frameworks so you can explain like this the second one creating framework from scratch level so if you have done the framework designing from the scratch level so you can explain develop automation framework from scratch tailored to specific project needs conducted a through analysis of project requirement to define the framework architectures and structure and the next one is implemented core functionality such as test script management reporting integration with ci cd pipelines customize the framework to support modular and scalable automation testing practices optimize the framework for efficiency maintainability and reusability of test assets okay so this way you can explain the next one is have you ever got a chance to design a framework from scratch okay so this is uh, the same questions that we have already discussed if yes i had the opportunity to design and develop automation framework from scratch from several projects here is a summary of my experience so you can explain like this so the first one is what conducted a thorough analysis of project requirement including technology stack application architectures and testing objectives so the first thing is what requirement discussion with the multiple stakeholders okay then the second is define the architecture and structure of the automation framework considering factors such as modularity scalability and maintainability okay selected appropriate automation testing tools and technology based on the project requirement and team expertise last one is the implemented core functionality within the framework such as test script management reporting logging and integration with ci cd pipeline okay so this way you can explain more about it now we talk about have you ever got a chance to design a framework again now it is coming now this is the uh, technical question they can ask to you and uh, they can easily track you have you ever worked on automation testing or not okay so what they can ask what is your approach in automation testing okay because the approach is very important and they can easily identify have you ever worked on it or not okay this first one is the requirement analysis so you can explain like this yes i do have experience and my approach is like this the requirement analysis okay so conduct through analysis of project requirement and objective to understand testing scope and priorities okay the second is test planning develop comprehensive test plan outlining test objectives strategies resources and timelines and which type of testing you need to work and uh, which tools you can use so these comes under the test planning or you can more explain separate the tool selections okay evaluate and select appropriate automation testing tools and technology based on project requirement and objectives the next one is framework designing design and develop automation framework to project needs considering factor like modularity scalability and maintainability okay so framework design you can also explain which type of framework you have done on like page object model have you ever worked on bdd uh, or these type of things you can include whatever the frameworks you have worked on it you can include in it okay you can also include regression testing conduct regular regression testing to ensure stability and re reliability of software releases defect management track and manage software defect using automation testing to prioritize and resol resolving issues promptly so you can also add the defect management to like this era and whatever you have done so you can include reporting and communications this is also very important point generate comp comprehensive test report and communicate testing status finding and recommendation to stakeholders the next one is con continuous improvement identify areas for process improvement and optimization implementing best practice and lesson learned from previous testing cycles 
okay so this is the very important point continuous improvement as well okay the next one is training and collaborations is very important provide training and support to team members on automation testing practice okay collaboration and knowledge sharing within the team adaptability and the flexibility is also very important point remain adaptable and flexible to accommodate changing project requirements and priorities adjusting testing strategies and approach accordingly okay so guys this is all about our top 5 questions and in the next video we will discuss about another 5 questions so if you like my channel if you have any doubt please comment below and if you don't subscribe yet please subscribe my channel for more videos and updates thank you